Hello, how are you? Welcome to CUO, where we correct misrepresentations about Africa and Africans, and we correct, correct misinformation about Africa and Africans. As the world wrestles to contain COVID-19, a new virus the world is coming to terms with and getting to understand, we are almost, but we will not be distracted by what the Director General of the World Health Organization has called the politicization of COVID-19. Speaking on Wednesday, Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesu defended the World Health Organization's work and called for an end to the polit politicization of COVID-19. He also said that he had received death threats and has been subjected to racist abuse <laughs> over his refusal to blame any nationality or any race for COVID-19. He has said that coronavirus, COVID-19, is not, does not, did not generate from race or color. It is colorblind. It is not based on nationality. He's come under attack for calling the world to be united in addressing a global pandemic. Now, you know, the source of this, the source of this politiz polit politicization is from the United States, the current administration of the United States. And I will not join others in bashing the United States right now because I think we should stand with them. They've been under a siege of embarrassment from their administra administration for the last maybe almost four years. I, I feel for the Americans, you know. This is a country that has proclaimed that is the free world, a country that has proclaimed that is the center of equality. It's a country in the last three years that been, whose administration has been uttering embarrassing statements, cringe-worthy statements, complete, total, disregard for human rights, justice, in such a way it's done in such an embarrassing way that we can't even take it seriously. It's become a joke. I, I feel for Americans because it's not easy to have an administration that embarrasses you daily. <laughs> so I will not join and bash the United States. I feel for them. But where I'm concerned is how the rest of the world is reacting and so in supporting this man. He has been facing death threats and racial abuse. In fact, there have been some parts of the world that are bringing up, <laughs> really, a kind of a sign of petition that he should resign. The racism of it all, the abuse, the insult upon injury. Tedros, <laughs> Director General of the World Health Organization, Tedros is perhaps one of the most qualified qualified head of the World Health Organization that the world has ever had, that the United Nations have, has, has ever had. But there's one problem. He's black, and it's not just black. He's a black that speaks up for the right things. It's not a black leader or an African leader that is just happy to be here because we have those who are appointed. They're just happy to be there, and they say all the right things, all the rules. They follow the rules. They don't speak ethically. What makes Tedros powerful is an ethical leader. He's standing up for what is right. He's speaking up for what is right. He's a bold, strong African who is standing up for what is right and is refusing to follow the rules of funders. It's like those who pay the pipers dictate the rules. Tedros is saying no. On my watch, coronavirus will not be blamed on any race. On my watch, Coronavirus vaccine will not be tested on black people. On my watch, the Chinese will not be blamed for coronavirus because COVID-19, coronavirus is a global, global pandemic. And this man has led exemplarily. He has led it. What makes this different is that he has refused, refused to bow down, refused to bow down <laughs> to covering, to camouflaging, the global pandemic. If he had quietly bowed his head and let the Chinese be blamed for COVID-19 and vaccines be tested on Africans, 
he'll be fine. WHO will continue to be funded robustly. But you know what? Funding is being used as a threat to, you know, order Director General of the World Health Organization, Tedros, an African, in line, look, flog him in line to say, you let us blame China for coronavirus, then you let us test vaccines all over Africa, then we will fund you robustly. Now, where I'm shocked is the reaction from the rest of the world. I'm grateful that France, Macron has spoken up. I'm grateful that Kagame of Rwanda has spoken up. I'm grateful that South Africa has spoken up. Those who've come forward to defend and stand for justice and, the, and unity in the world and for ethics are South Africa, Rwanda, and France. The rest of the world, I'm waiting for them to speak up. Because it's not about, it's not about how embarrassing and just completely ridiculous the statement from United States administration is. It's the reaction, it's how the silence from the rest of the world speaks as loud. And the fact that a petition is being circulated to remove this man is even worse. For decades, decades, peace, peacekeeping forces have not resolved conflict in Africa. For decades. We've had development projects across Africa that have failed, that have not moved Africa away from where they are. In fact, made things worse for Africa. For decades, we've had humanitarian assistance in Africa that has not removed Afri many African countries from humanitarian needs. In fact, entrenching more into humanitarian need. For decades, we've had food insecurity ravaging most of African countries, quote-unquote ravaging. I mean, that's what we hear globally. In spite of years of food aid donation from the United States. But nobody has called, nobody has said anybody should sign petition for these people to be kicked out of their jobs. Those who heard the United Nations response on these interventions. No, we don't hear that. But we hear that <laughs> for Director General of World Health Organization, Tedros, an African. Because he has refused to blame China for coronavirus. And he has refused for Africans to be tested for coronavirus vaccines. So let's give it up to Director General of the World Health Organization, Tedros. Let's give it up to this African powerful man. Because it's not just, it's not a figurehead. It's a man who's doing his job. He's standing for the world and he's speaking up. Thank you, sir. I should fuck her in the best